Yay, yay! <laughs> I think it's the first time I've had Wilbur back in here. I cut that road down, you know, years ago. I think I, I think I cut that initial road before Wilbur ever had the transmission go out, maybe. Uh, it's been a while. <clears throat> anyway, I don't know if I ever actually backed him all the way down around in here or not, but I have now. So I got a vacuum. I got Rosie sitting up here on the bench, and we're gonna get loaded. I promised you guys I would try to make a little bit of an update on the pond and I've actually done a lot more work now since when I was hauling the other day um, I think I did mention Wilbur's down for the count again he's got something wrong in a in a final drive wheel bearing I'm not exactly sure we got to tear it apart and see but the wheels cockeyed and it's making the final drive skip a little bit so I'm hoping it's just bearings and we can get them replaced before anything else tears up anyway so that kind of puts a damper on hauling dirt, but I'm doing what I can to round out the rest of the pond as it is. And so what I wanted to do was I, I, I need to establish a, you know, a road all the way around the pond. It gets a little skinny over there from my mistake years ago, but anyway, I don't want to lose the ability to get back into this area. So I came through and cleared out along this west bank a little bit more. I left every tree that i could that was about 20 foot from see there's the vertical cut so every tree that was about 20 foot in i, I left it and actually what i did was um i came along right along the very edge of the drop off it's about a four foot drop off and just picked out the trees that i had to that were in the way and most of them just tossed them over here in the woods i actually picked out a few that were on this outside also a couple of dead ones and just a couple that were Kind of in the way for what i'm trying to do uh and then i came back in because i was trying to clear you know a roadway and also establish the pond bank so now i've came back in just this evening or this afternoon it's only five o'clock and actually cut down the pond bank so you can see now we've got a good slope going i mean that's about the best i can do on rosie i was sitting sideways like this with my tracks like that and i really didn't like that because you hear a lot of popping and stuff because the tracks are wanting to go sideways on you you know but I did it that way um, so that I could just keep working back nice and easy. And that, as I was cutting the bank and I was reaching between the trees and dumping the dirt over into here. So where I've heaped up this topsoil now, a big old root here, where I've heaped up this topsoil will be the new road. Now I only want the road really to be about a foot, maybe two feet above grade. Uh, but over the years, I've pretty well lost track of where original grade is. I mean, obviously out there is original. This right here looks pretty original. Um, so I was kind of trying to use that for reference, but you know, I'm trying to get the dirt back down where it's around the base of the trees, get it back down to original grade. For right now, if my road is heaped up high, it doesn't really matter. It's basically a stockpile of topsoil. Um, it will always stay dry and then I can get in here as needed and I can cut it down, shave it down. And kind of haul that dirt out either when Wilbur's back up and running or um, when I've got another dump truck or something to to help um, I'm not gonna you know bucket it all out or bail it all back just to get it done right yet I'm just gonna have it heaped up there uh, but I'm gonna get in here with a little Rita and the box blade and try to clean this bank up really well like like I said again I don't know exactly where original grade is at but i want to get original grade basically back at the base of these pine trees maybe just a little bit higher but ultimately you know i'd like to be able to say hey i can ride back here on the tractor or four-wheeler park on the road that is the pond bank and be able to fish right here you know that's my that's my ultimate goal and of course i want it to be kind of a smooth in um you know just in case somebody falls in the water it doesn't go straight to four feet deep now it is going to get deeper of course off the, I'm gonna leave the back of the island pretty steep actually and of course off the front of the island you guys know it goes in 20 feet deep but really I'm just I'm really excited to be cutting this down and calling this final um, so I'm gonna dress it up a little bit with the box blade just to make it pretty 
and I don't know, it's supposed to be like 100 degrees and dry for the foreseeable future. So I don't know that I'm going to bother planting any grass on it yet. And maybe I won't need to. Um, but yeah, my plan is just to get it all cleaned up and um, be able to finally let the pond fill. Super excited. I forgot I had that tree back here. I should have dragged that sucker out. Um, for the clay that's in here around the back of the island, I do want to take a little bit more of that out. Uh, I may bale it back because it's just, it's not as much. I don't want to cut it out and try to stack it up here on top of that fill dirt. Um, that'll be my, my levee road. It's just, it'll get too high and it'll eventually slough down and, and want to suffocate the trees again. So I probably will cut it out and cut it back. I'm thinking about going and renting a little dump trailer and just hook it to the tractor. It's going to be really slow. I know, you know, obviously it, it no way it'll compete with Wilbur. I'm thinking one of those little dump trailers could... Could maybe do two maybe three buckets off a of rosy probably only about two but i think if i can have a buddy run the tractor and trailer uh, and just kind of haul it out and move it further away and i can bail out what's left and keep bailing back that way i think it'll it'll work out okay um so yeah that's what i'm looking at this through here is still way too high and this bank still has to be cut down a little bit just to smooth it off because it drops off steep um, but this will be the permanent road. So what I was going for with the road, ideally was have as many trees as I could between the road and the pond. Um, when you get right into here in this little inside corner, obviously there just, there just wasn't any trees there. <laughs> so I can come in and, and plant trees, you know, it's no big deal. I got plenty of trees to plant. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to get Rita in here and, um, try to polish it up a little bit just to make it look a little better. And uh, we'll keep working on the haul road. You know, it's high there, it's low here. So we'll just kind of keep blading it around. It's not super critical, um, but just trying to kind of level it out and make it really look like the road that it's supposed to be, I guess. But anyway, super cool to finally be cutting down the back on the west bank there and uh, almost calling it done. I can honestly say I never thought I would park my tractor on the island. Guess what? <laughs> Here we are, baby. <laughs> I did it just to do it because I may never do it again. But Rita is parked on the island. There's the island beehive and the view for proof. I'm telling you, I had to just sit here for a minute before I started the video and just appreciate this view. It's such a deep hole. <laughs> it's such an awesomely deep hole. This beehive I thought was alive the other day. Yeah, there's still some bees crawling in and out of it. They didn't come out at all. I was working with Rosie last night or yesterday evening, cutting and sloping behind the island. I'll show that to you in just a second. And I mean, I reached right up here behind them. And I, I figured a few of them would fly out, but no, they didn't mind. But yeah, I walk up here to the edge. That's a long way down. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. All my life, growing up as a kid, I wanted a pond with an island. All we had was cattle ponds that we swam in, you know, five, six foot deep. So I always wanted a big, deep pond, and I always wanted an island. And by God, I'm going to have it. It's taken me years, but I guess good things come to those that wait. Anyway, so, yeah, I was just show you how I'm grading behind the island here. And I borrowed a transit from a buddy of mine so I could actually get some elevations and check things. I set it up yesterday afternoon just to get their idea. So these sticks laying on the ground horizontal over here, those mark what will be the, the water line effectively. It'll be great. Since we don't have any real elevation out here, we don't have any terrain, this pond is just gonna fill up to grade level and then it'll spill out through a couple of pipes. I'm gonna have, you know, a levee road still all the way around that's higher than grade or higher than, yeah, original grade. Um, but so basically I just set the transit up and then I just went along with the level or with the receiver and I just looked for where I hit, you know, level. So that says that standing right here right now, based on the sticks, I'm only in like two feet of water. And, you know, I want it to be shallower behind the pond, behind the island, but I don't want it to be that shallow. I want it to be, you know, four to five feet. I want it to be where people can, you know, comfortably play and swim in it, but it's not... You know so deep that 
you might drown. You could stand up. As an adult, you could stand up. Standing right here, I'm going to have to get the transit again, but I feel like that's about mm, three and a half feet, which sitting up in the machine, well, maybe it's, maybe it's closer to four feet because the island right in here, the island, I checked it yesterday, and right about where the back of the tractor sitting was about six inches above grade. So that would say that I'm in well, maybe three and a half feet. Anyway, sitting up in Rosie, it looks like it's a lot deeper than that. Um, but I'm actually, I'm happy that it's not because I'm going to come through here now and I'm going to cut it a little deeper. I'm going to set the train, I'm going to set the transit up, see where we're at on some elevations. Um, and then I'm going to start working my way backwards. So I started, I guess I should show you this. I started last night. I told myself I wasn't going to bail all this dirt around the island because I said, oh, it's going to be too much dirt. And so I was going to get a, a little dump trailer since Wilbur's down. And then I came in here with Rosie yesterday afternoon and I started cutting down what was left of this batch of clay right in here. And as I did, I quickly found that there wasn't near as much left as I thought. And so as I was piling it up over here, just I wanted to just go ahead and cut it down and kind of say that this part was done. Well, as I did that, I realized that my pile wasn't near as big as I thought it would be. And so there wasn't really any point in, you know, going and renting a dump trailer, haul that little bit of dirt out. So I just went ahead and bailed it on around the back. I used a lot of it building up around the island because the island here in the back of the island, it used to cut straight off as well. So I used it to, to slope that out. That's a real loose pack. I want to, I guess I'll take the bucket and kind of press against it because it's too steep and too soft. If I try to get up on it with the tractor, the tractor wants to roll over. It's not nearly as steep as it looks, honestly. It's not even 45 degrees, but because it's real soft, I just kind of, you know, set it there as I backed out. It's, really, it's actually a really good grade work for me with the excavator. As big as Rosie's bucket is, yeah, I'm actually really happy with myself for that. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I went ahead and bailed it on back around. And um, like I said, I'm going to go get the transit. I'm going to check and kind of see where the bottom of our ditch is at here. I want the bottom of that ditch to be about five feet, I think, and then have it slope from both sides. So, you know, people can splash around anywhere from two to three to four feet deep. And then, of course, it's, you know, 20 feet deep off, off the front of the island. So that's just fine. So that's why I kind of wanted to have, you know, have it deepen as it came into here so people can swim off in this little spot if they want and have it a little bit deeper. And I didn't want this edge to drop off like a shelf. On the front over here, it drops straight off. And I'm, I'm going to try to find, I know it exists, I just got to look for it. Some little like uh, floating light up buoys. So basically I'll just set those out just so there's a little buoy line to mark where the drop off is at. And it'd be really cool if I can get some that that glow in the dark or have a little solar light on them so even at night you can see just a little line of lights in the pond i think that'd be kind of pretty anyway so like i said i gotta get the transit because over there it's maybe three and a half four feet deep but i think shoot by the time i walk up to right about here and it was getting dark on me last night so i was starting to lose track of where i was at but where i'm standing right here and look over there at the sticks i think i'm basically i'm almost at grade level right here i think so anyway I'm going to go get the transit, get some shots, mark a few things, and uh, then we'll go back to digging. Anyway, yeah, there's Rita on the island. I just had, just had to get that picture and get that little moment just because. So I was just doing the transit work, and which I just shut it down and put it away now. But I don't remember what I said I thought my depth was, but <laughs> I thought I said I thought maybe it was about four feet. And standing here... This is the deepest point of the trench right now behind the island, and it's only three foot five. That would be the depth of the water. So, definitely going to go get on Rosie and come in here and cut this a little bit deeper. Just, I mean, because otherwise it's just going to be this just kind of shallow, and I'm afraid it's going to get hot spots. I want it to be deeper, to stay cooler, not crazy deep. But, we will get Rosie fired up. We're going to take a little bit more dirt out of this cut. I didn't even come over here with the transit, but knowing that my deepest spot is three foot, three and a half foot, then by the time I get to here, it's inches. So got a lot more dirt to cut out of here than I thought. Well, I finally found that dirt I was looking for. <laughs> I guess I lost more of it coming around the island last night than I realized because I've come back through now. I stopped once. Well, once I started, I stopped and checked and I had it down to five feet in the bottom of the trench and then uh once i got uh, my wife just yelled at me i don't know what she said though anyway um once i got back here and thought i was basically done 
I got out and checked and it had gotten up to about three feet right in here and so I had to throw a little bit of dirt back out there to track back out and, and cut it back down I haven't checked it yet um, but I know it's down at least four feet and it's not all that critical again really like I don't I wanted it just more than you know two to three feet so if it's four or five right in through here if it's four to five all the way through the middle I'm good with that I'm gonna go turn on the transit right now and just check it and then I'll let you know but ultimately you guys can kind of see how it's shaping up it got a little steep right here on the bank um, but I think what I'm gonna do uh, with my road here I think I'm gonna take out this little chunk of trees just these few right here and push the whole levee over a little bit which means I'll cut I'll cut all this bank down a little bit more and so I'll be able to regain some some slope in there so not too worried about that let me go fire up the transit check these elevations I'll let you know yeah well pretty well nailed it um, I knew I had had snuck up a little bit like I said uh, so I just went through with the transit and checked it right right there at the mouth where it opens up it was at about three foot nine and so you know I'm fine with that being I want that to be about four feet I'm gonna make a flat area out there that's about four feet deep just as kind of like a like a swimming pool you know instead of being instead of being the channel like this where it's sloped on both sides real steep I want to have a flat open area you know where people can splash around and you know whatever what do, what do you call it uh is it horse wrestling where you sit on each other's shoulders I think so um yeah just where people can play you know maybe set up a little floating volleyball net or something like that but um yeah still have the channel behind the island so that'll be cool anyway i may cut it down a little bit more but at that point i'm close enough inches inches for me is actually really hard to do with that excavator because it's just the bucket is so big and so wide the machine is so big that it it kind of throws off your perception of true you know true size i guess if that is it's kind of hard for me to judge still but couple inches i'll just cut that down with the box blade on the tractor if i decide i really need to but probably doesn't really matter so anyway cool 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 the island channel is shoot as far as i'm concerned it's done i mean if i if there was somebody if i had a neighbor that was sheep with a dozer that would come in and dress it up and make it look pretty that'd be awesome but you know what it's all going to be underwater so no one's going to see it i think it looks pretty the way it is you know i mean it's rough cut for sure but for me, that's pretty doggone good to have done that with the excavator for sure. Okay, that's super exciting.